Have you ever encountered someone whose presence seemed to cast a shadow over your life? In the vast tapestry of existence, there are individuals whose energies seem to drain our own, leading us down paths we never intended to tread. Such encounters can teach us profound lessons about ourselves and the world around us. Join me on a journey into the heart of wisdom as we unravel the story of three people you should avoid, as told by a Zen master whose insights transcend time. The Beguiling Temptress In a bustling village nestled amidst verdant hills, there lived a young man named Koji. He was known for his kind heart and gentle demeanor, traits that endeared him to all who knew him. Yet despite his virtues, Koji found himself ensnared by the beguiling charms of a woman named Mei Lin. With her captivating smile and honeyed words, Mei Lin lured Koji into a web of deceit and illusion. As Koji's infatuation deepened, he became blind to Mei Lin's true nature, a cunning manipulator who reveled in the power she wielded over others. Day by day, Koji found himself entangled in her schemes, sacrificing his own happiness and well-being in pursuit of her fleeting affection. The Zen master, observing Koji's plight, approached him one evening as he sat by the river, his heart heavy with sorrow. With gentle wisdom, the master spoke of the dangers of attachment and the importance of discernment. He cautioned Koji against the allure of false promises and urged him to cultivate inner strength and clarity of mind. Moved by the master's words, Koji resolved to free himself from Mei Lin's grasp. With each passing day, he untangled himself from her web until, at last, he stood liberated beneath the open sky. Though the scars of his ordeal lingered, Koji emerged wiser and more resilient than before. Guided by the timeless wisdom of the Zen master, the poisonous companion, in the heart of the forest where ancient trees whispered secrets of the past, there dwelled a solitary monk named Ren. Ren had long sought solace in the quietude of nature, finding refuge from the tumult of the world within the embrace of the forest's silent depths. Yet his solitude was shattered by the arrival of a fellow traveler, a man named Shiro, whose presence cast a shadow of darkness wherever he went. Shiro was a man consumed by bitterness and resentment, his heart poisoned by the wounds of the past. With each passing day, Ren found himself drawn into Shiro's orbit, his peaceful existence disrupted by the storms of negativity that raged within his companion's soul. Despite Ren's best efforts to offer guidance and compassion, Shiro remained ensnared by his own demons, his words dripping with venomous spite. Slowly but surely, Ren felt his own spirit eroded by the corrosive influence of Shiro's presence, his once serene heart tainted by the poison of resentment. Turning to the Zen master for guidance, Ren poured out his heart the weight of his burden heavy upon his shoulders. In response, the master spoke of the power of choice and the importance of surrounding oneself with those who uplift and inspire. With renewed clarity, Ren resolved to part ways with Shiro, choosing instead to walk the path of inner peace and serenity. As he bid farewell to the forest and the shadows that had plagued him, Ren felt a profound sense of liberation wash over him, his spirit soaring free beneath the canopy of stars. Though the journey ahead was fraught with uncertainty, he walked forward with steadfast determination, guided by the timeless wisdom of the Zen master. The Deceptive Mentor In the heart of the mountains, where the winds whispered secrets of the cosmos, there dwelled a young disciple named Hana. From a tender age, Hana had devoted herself to the study of the ancient teachings, her heart aflame with the desire for wisdom and enlightenment. Yet. Her quest for knowledge led her into the clutches of a master whose motives were shrouded in darkness. Master Yuto was a man of great renown, his wisdom renowned far and wide. Under his tutelage, Hana delved deep into the mysteries of the universe, her thirst for knowledge driving her ever onward. Yet beneath the veneer of enlightenment, Master Yuto concealed a heart consumed by greed and ambition. As Hana immersed herself in her studies, she became blind to the true nature of her mentor his words of guidance masking a web of deceit and manipulation. Day by day, she found herself drawn deeper into his orbit, her spirit suffocated by the weight of his expectations. It was only when Hana encountered the Zen master atop the mountain's peak that she glimpsed the truth hidden beneath the veil of illusion. With eyes that pierced the depths of her soul, the master spoke of the importance of discernment and the danger of false prophets. He urged Hana to trust in her own intuition and to walk the path of truth no matter how perilous it may seem. Empowered by the master's words, Hana confronted Master Yuto, her heart ablaze with the fire of righteous indignation. With each word she spoke, 
The shadows that had clouded her vision began to dissipate until at last she stood bathed in the light of clarity and truth. As she bid farewell to her former mentor and the illusions that had ensnared her, Hannah felt a sense of liberation unlike any she had known before. With each step she took along the winding path of the mountainside, she felt her spirit soar ever higher, guided by the timeless wisdom of the Zen master. Conclusion. In the tapestry of existence, there are shadows that lurk in the corners of our lives, waiting to ensnare us in their web of deceit and illusion. Yet through the timeless wisdom of the Zen master, we can navigate the treacherous waters of existence with clarity and grace. May his teaching serve as a guiding light in the darkest of times, illuminating the path to inner peace and enlightenment for all who seek it. The Whispering Winds of Change In the aftermath of their respective trials, Koji, Ren and Hana found themselves drawn together by the invisible threads of destiny, their paths converging at the foot of a towering mountain. Beneath the watchful gaze of the Zen master, they embarked upon a journey of self-discovery and transformation, each one seeking solace and guidance amidst the vast expanse of the wilderness. As they traversed the rugged terrain, the echoes of their past struggles reverberated through the silent air, mingling with the whispering winds that swept down from the mountain peaks. With each step forward, they shed the burdens of their former selves, casting aside the shadows that had clouded their vision. Together, they confronted the demons of doubt and fear that had long haunted their hearts, finding strength in the bonds of friendship and solidarity. Through laughter and tears, they shared their stories, weaving a tapestry of resilience and redemption that spanned the breadth of their collective experiences. Guided by the wisdom of the Zen master, they learned to embrace the impermanence of existence, finding beauty in the ebb and flow of life's endless cycles. With open hearts and minds, they surrendered to the ever-changing currents of fate, trusting in the inherent goodness of the universe to guide them on their journey. As they stood atop the mountain's summit, bathed in the soft glow of the rising sun, they felt a sense of peace wash over them, their spirits soaring free amidst the boundless expanse of the heavens. In that moment of pure clarity, they knew that their trials had not been in vain, for they had emerged from the darkness stronger and more resilient than ever before. With newfound purpose and determination, they descended from the mountain, their hearts ablaze with the fire of enlightenment. Together, they vowed to carry forth the teachings of the Zen master, spreading his timeless wisdom to all who crossed their paths. And so, as they journeyed onward into the unknown, they walked hand in hand, their souls united in a symphony of love and compassion that echoed across the ages. For in the end, they knew that the greatest gift of all was the light that shone within their own hearts, illuminating the path to truth and liberation for all who dared to seek it. In the quiet solitude of the mountainside, the Zen master watched as Koji, Ren and Hana disappeared into the mists of the horizon, their forms fading into the embrace of the wilderness. With a smile upon his lips, he whispered a silent prayer for their continued journey, knowing that they carried within them the seeds of wisdom and enlightenment that would someday blossom into the fullness of their potential. And as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the landscape, he closed his eyes and surrendered to the gentle embrace of the night, his spirit at peace amidst the timeless dance of existence. For in the end, he knew that the journey of self-discovery was a never-ending odyssey, a sacred pilgrimage of the soul that transcended the boundaries of time and space. And though the road ahead may be fraught with challenges and obstacles, he walked forward with unwavering faith, knowing that the light of truth would always guide his way.